All right, what's going on, guys? So we're here ready to do the demo. I have Brandon Walker from Untapped. You probably just listened to the episode, episode 470, and you're in the show notes now watching this video. Uh, so, Brandon, uh, I guess I'll let you take it from here. What do you have for us? All right. Uh, if you've made it this far and have gotten to the demo, thank you very much for listening. Um, I want to remind everybody real quick before we actually launch into this thing, we're at untapped.com slash business slash unstoppable right now. And this is where you go ahead and submit your information for your business. And as a reminder, what we're going to do is $300 in value. We're going to launch a custom promotion in the untapped app for you uh, to target every user within your general area. Um, and a little bit of a plug for Eric here. Any submissions that we get do get kicked back to Restaurant Unstoppable. Uh, make sure we can continue to grow this community that he has been working so hard on. Thank you. Um, so real quick, let's go ahead and dive into uh, the demo here. Um, first of all, reminder, untapped, what it is. This is an example of a page that your customers are going on to that uh, your current profile may look like. I take a random restaurant here in our hometown of Wilmington, North Carolina, who is currently not utilizing the untapped for business software. You can see here we have a banner at the top of the page sort of coaxing this business to take control and go ahead and become a verified venue. And so the page is rather robust for, for a general free page. We have their name, their information and address, People are going in and that, this is where they are checking in beers, leaving reviews and ratings and establishing the fact that they went into Bourbon Street. Uh, they purchased a beer, drank it, and um, you know executed a purchase. Over here real quick, I want us to take a look at the total number of check-ins and customers who are coming into their business. So you can see we've had 500 different users checking in 720 beers at this particular business. So that's great, right? That's an unverified venue. That is currently, if you go search your business's name in Untapped, you will likely find something comparable to this. But what we're talking about today is how to become a subscribed verified venue on Untapped and take advantage of all the tools that we've talked about uh, over the course of the podcast. And so over here is an example of a verified venue. This is actually one of our demo accounts, Lindsay's Pizza and Pint. Uh, and you can see it, it looks a lot different than the last page. You see that, Eric? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So what we have here, we're actually showing the business hours, details about the business. Uh, we have your phone number included. But the most critical parts of this page are that we are showing your events. We're showing the beers that you have available. We're also encouraging people to subscribe to your venue to receive notifications anytime you add a new beer or you post an event about your business. So you may be thinking to yourself right now, okay, great, that's just another place to put my menu. But what a lot of the businesses that I speak with don't quite recognize is that that inventory that you have is actually currently one of your most powerful latent marketing assets. We're taking the beers that are right now going totally unleveraged and putting them front and center against a, a niche audience that's really interested in that. And furthermore, Events don't have to be really robust, drawn out, like ping pong tournaments or basketball games. Something like a happy hour or specials, uh, a particular food that your chef really wants to feature. We create an event and we pump it out into this community who's really interested in, in discretionary spending on you know, uh, alcohol and food. So that's the difference in the untapped profile in general once becoming verified. What we're taking a look at now is the actual untapped for business platform. This is totally uh, private to you and your staff. This is not customer facing. We also have a mobile app so you and your team can manage your account on the go uh, or from afar. So basically what we're looking at here is over on the left hand side lists out all of the features that we have available to offer. And if you remember the last time that we spoke about untapped, untapped for business rests on four key pillars. We have marketing. Uh, we help publish your beers and your events out to the community, customer engagement, making sure that not only do they come in for the first time, but they continue coming back again and again, instead of going to a competitor. We also have data and analytics to show you information about the beers in your market, about what the consumers are actually looking for so you can better spend your money with your uh, distributors. And finally, 
uh, in-house efficiencies, whether it's printable menus, digital beer displays, uh, the mobile application that we have, a lot of that is geared towards saving you time, therefore saving you money. So I want to focus specifically now on the features that I think uh, from conversations with our restaurant customers are the most advantageous for them. First of all, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our beer menus. Here we have our American craft beer rotation. And as you remember, these beers, Muddy Puppy Porter, excuse me, Mud Puppy Porter, Mary Monks, those were listed immediately on our untap page. So with a couple clicks of a, of a button here, uh, Eric, do me a favor. What is your favorite beer right now, whether in Thailand or back in the U.S.? <laughs> in Thailand? Um, Leo. Uh, I don't know. L-I-O, L-E-O. L-E-O. I, I'll be surprised if that comes up. If it does. Oh, wow. There it is. Or maybe not. Leo, yeah. That one, Boonrod. Yeah, the, the, the beer yeah. scene in so, Thailand isn't that great. I will just disclose. <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's fair. But uh, so Untapped has about 1.4 million beers in the database. So most of the time, if you've drank it, it's in there because somebody's checked it in, whether they're home brewers or uh, actual commercial breweries as well. So what we did was we just added that beer to our menu. Um, and again, this is a marketing tool that spans beyond just uh, the fact that it's an inventory item. So, okay, feature number one that I found restaurants to be really, really in favor of is making sure that the menu is consistent across both your Facebook page, your website, if you have one, and also your untapped page. So Eric, we just added the Leo beer to our, to our menu, right? We're going to go over to our Facebook page here, Lindsay's Pizza and Pint. Let me refresh it real quick. Now this hopefully looks familiar to everybody. This is an example of your overall Facebook page. Down here, we add a food and drink menu to your uh, Facebook profile. And you can see immediately in real time that that beer was added straight to your menu. But what spans beyond that is you're actually able to curate food menus, cocktail and wine menus, and those events are featured on Facebook as well. So in one place, we're trying to pump all of that information into the place where your current customers are already finding you, which is via Facebook. Now, Finally, we want to show you what this looks like on your website. Again, this is totally a demonstration purpose website. There's not, it's not too robust with information, but you can see again, we've added Leo beer here to the menu and the same toggles are up there at the top. So from a consistency standpoint, making sure it's uh, strewn across all of your platforms, we make it really easy from a beer, food, wine, cocktail perspective to knock it out in one fell swoop. Now, the second thing, oh, did you have a question, Eric? Yeah, I did. I'm just curious. Um, are there certain like website platforms? Like how easy is it to integrate your website with all this? Is, is it a challenge? Is like take me through that just real quick without getting into too much detail. No, absolutely. So we actually have um, an integration team. It's our customer support team that will push that straight into your website. Uh, Facebook page is a simple widget. You click a button and link it to your Facebook, your website. We actually drop a, it's like a three lines of code that goes right into the HTML on your website and it is all done and it automatically pumps into your untapped. So you don't ever have to think twice about that. Cool. So Thank we you. have some businesses who opt not to include it. We have some that make it a really key feature in their website. Either way we have uh, we have a way to do it pretty simply. All right. Thank you for answering that. Yeah, good question. All right, so the second thing that I found restaurants to be really, really infatuated with is the events platform that we have. Uh, right here, you go in, you can add an event. We make it really easy to import events straight from Facebook. So if you're already managing this on another platform, you can draw everything in on an automatic basis. So it's updating both your Facebook page and your untapped and your website all in tandem. Um, so I again, like here are some examples, <laughs> trivia night. Say that again, Eric. I said I like that a lot. I think one of the biggest challenges for a lot of restaurant tours right now is just having the time, the day to go to all these different platforms to stay consistent. So that syncing, that that uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Synergy, sync. What's what's the word I'm looking for, Brandon? Uh, Synchronizing. Yes, thank you, man. It's four. It was four a.m. when we started we here <laughs> in Thailand. So bear with me. <laughs> yeah, man. No, definitely. And you can see here, look, e even from a demo perspective, we're using half price pizza, trivia night, um, you know, food and wine pairing. 
these aren't events that are super hyper specific for beer drinkers. Remember we, we are making ourselves more of just a, a social engagement platform going out and eating and drinking and checking out events at different venues. Uh, so events, that's the number two key feature for restaurants. Uh, and to the point that you were just making, Eric, we actually help out businesses by managing social media posts all from this platform as well. So you can post out to Facebook, post to Twitter, you can schedule out posts, include photos. And what these do is they can go out as menu features. So in Untapped, you can post it as a tab on your menu, but we also create Facebook posts and Twitter posts. So if you are one of those restaurateurs who are running a lean operation, don't have a fully fledged social media team, you can utilize this platform. You come in on a Sunday, you update your menu, you knock out all your social posts and you have it all hashed out for a week or month at a time. Um, so we found that to be really helpful from an engagement standpoint. Great. Um, all right. Yeah. Keep going. Go ahead. Keep going, man. You're, you're crushing it. All right. Cool. Cool. So I've teased the analytics a lot. Uh, if you remember, we talked about what analytics are, why they're valuable. And we talked about why you look out in the area, it helps you be proactive, right? You can see what your consumers are looking for before you ever spend a dime. Now on the, in, in, in reflection of how your venue is doing, you can see how those purchases are performing through your business. So here we take a look at over time, uh, how well the business is performing from a beer's purchase perspective. We take a look at busy days of the week and month. I know that technically both of these can be fed to you from your POS. But what you can see is the impressions, the subscribers to your venue, how many people are receiving those updates, the demographic that's feeding into your point of sale system, what beers are popular based on ratings and based on total check-in. Um, that's a lot of information that is helping us take a look at how our venue is performing. I think okay, that right awesome. there, that that what's popular is probably, I mean, there's tons of incredible features from Untap, but I think that alone of just trying to put together a beer menu, knowing what people are looking for, seeing real time, like what is trending right now in my specific geographic is so powerful. It's, it's huge. I mean, yeah, as a, as a restaurant owner, you know, you're worried about managing uh, the margins. You're worried about making purchases and keeping the kitchen running. You shouldn't have to worry about whether or not your distributor rep is selling you beers that are going to sell. Um, so this is something that just takes that weight off your shoulders and gives you the insight straight to the consumer so you never have to ask the question. Now, full disclosure, we have a brewery here in town that is crushing it called New Anthem. They're expanding their business to a 15,000 square foot brewing facility. I just found that out yesterday. I am so excited but clearly they are dominating the beer market in Wilmington, North Carolina. But what we're taking a look at are those nearby statistics. So let's say that you're not able to get your hands on some of that new anthem. You know that IPAs are performing really well. Go get your hands on a damn IPA. These are the most popular subscribe beers. If you can get some of these, you are going to sell them quickly to the untapped audience. I can't, hit on that enough as a restaurant owner you shouldn't have to think about it we take that thinking off of your plate um so all of that the whole nine yards from the what's happening in the area to what's happening in your business we try to paint that picture in full for you and finally i have an inkling eric that this is going to be your favorite part <laughs> we do custom menus for you as well nice um and so print principal menus that is such a pain in the butt uh we have Printable, uh, let's see, let me pick one to go in. We'll take a look at a wine selection just so you know that it's not totally specific to, uh, oops, excuse me, wrong way. Hello, design, here we go. All right, so we offer all of these different templates for you to go ahead and make edits and change up your, your beer or your wine menu. You can see down here we have wines as well. And so we offer all of these templates stock, all part of that $599 a year subscription where you go in, you can make some edits to it. You can customize some of the background, some of the fonts, things of that nature. I know I'm going kind of quick here, but that's the point of why we're trying to get you to go to untapped.com slash business slash unstoppable. But Eric, talk to me a little bit from the, the restaurant tours that you talk with, how much time is expended in trying to, especially for those farm to table restaurants, 
and managing the updates to those menus. Oh my God. Um, I found that to be a really big pain point. And just the other thing too about that is sometimes you, you're delegating to different people to update the menu or sometimes you might be tied up. So you need your assistant GM to go update the menu or whatever. And they might not know uh, the, the, the specific fonts or the, it might get all wonky. Um, you might have like, your menu is your biggest selling tool. I mean, it's the, the best way to market your restaurant and the little details matter. So the fact that this is all standardized, like you don't have to worry about somebody else getting in there and jacking up your fonts, your, your, you know, the, the size of everything, the format, like that's huge. It's the standardization. Awesome. All. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. So standardization and it looks pretty, right? It's yeah. not just, doing something in Microsoft where we've we've expended a lot of resources from a design perspective to make sure that it, it fits the bill from a design look. And one other thing I um, just wanted to add to then, that too, real oops. quick, Brandon, sorry, I, didn't, I think there might be a little bit of a lag, I apologize. Um, the cool thing about that is that it's also not co-branded, which I, I, I don't think it was. Was it co-branded? I mean, it wouldn't be a big deal, I guess, it if it was. You have you can totally untoggle up. So it, it can say powered by untapped. It doesn't have to say powered by untapped. That's totally your prerogative. Okay. I mean, I just think it's kind of cool that there's no like uh, ulterior motive there, which is, I don't know, just like, I guess, genuine. <laughs> no, definitely. We, we want it to be that way. Uh, so give me one second. I accidentally X out when I clicked out of that print menu. So I dive back in here. All right. And so the last thing that I would like to show from a, uh, from a restaurant perspective that I think adds a lot of value is these digital beer displays. Again, I teased this a couple minutes ago. I understand this isn't going to be hugely valuable for a business that isn't primarily beer focused, but take a look at this. We actually go in, you have a TV behind your bar, right? Uh, sometimes it has sports, sometimes it has soap operas, whatever. We send you a Chrome bit, which is a little computer that plugs into the back of your TV. You upload a link, and now all of a sudden your live beer menu is in rotation. So think about the time your bartenders, instead of making drinks and selling drinks, are being asked, what beers do you have on tap? What beers are in bottles? We can put all of this content immediately behind the bar, so it, and it has the actual names instead of just the tap handles, which have the, the, you know, the brewery's name on it. As you can see here, it also has ads, so you can run things about events you have coming up. If you have uh, small businesses in the area you'd like to feature or... Um, if, if the owner of the GM may be working on a side project, like a trivia project or something like that can all be featured. And the most engaging part down here, you'll see my own check-ins on here, but is, uh, the fact that you can see check-ins happen in real time. It's an awesome engagement tool for untapped users to see their faces pop up. Oh, that's cool. And we also have your events that can stream across the bottom of the screen there. Sick. And again, you see the power by untapped to the point you're just making. Let me just show you exactly what I was saying there. You can get rid of the uh, power by untapped on there. Let's take a look. See, it's in here somewhere. And, you know, I, somewhere I mentioned that I mentioned here. that earlier, and it's yeah. not necessarily even a bad thing, just because of the uh, the the social presence that untapped has. Uh, that that brand alignment. People love untapped. People the. the the people that are using that platform, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't know, like a, a way to identify, you know, other untapped people like, Oh, you use the app. Like, what have you had? Like people want to find other people using that app. I, I, I would imagine. Um, so it's not necessarily a bad thing that that, that co-branded, uh, features there too. Awesome. I agree. I totally agree. I just want to point out that if, if branding is super important to your business, to your restaurant, that, that we do give you the option mm -hmm. to uh, toggle those on and off. No, um, I, I but yeah. So as far as, oh, sorry, Eric, go ahead. Yeah. So um, I was, I want to say it was Scratch Pizza in Dayton, Ohio. Um, and that's one of the other places I saw uh, Untapped being leveraged. And uh, Eric Solar was super just enthusiastic about what you guys are doing over there as well. I think he had like a long vertical uh, digital display. Did I do I remember that correctly? Is that like an option to having like a, like a, a not necessarily a TV, but like a long vert vertical digital display? Am I totally just yeah? Like do you like that? Yeah, but it was like a, a long TV. It wasn't like a normal TV. Um, is that something you supply? Maybe I'm not remembering this correctly. So what he likely did, he probably got, it probably was a standard TV or maybe he got a like badass monitor. And a lot of the times you can just flip them sideways. Oh, okay. I, I've seen a lot of bar owners and restaurant owners do that. So they can put TV side by side for games. 
Um, it gives a little bit of a bigger screen if you can afford to do that. As far as provisions of hardware, we don't supply the TVs, but we do sell the Chrome bits, the actual drivers of the digital board at below cost. We sell them at cheaper than the manufacturer. Okay. So you can get those for $99 plus a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, you can get those on Amazon or from the manufacturer for about $129. Sweet. Maybe um, I'll, but we, we want to make sure we Amazon? offer that. Maybe I'll, I'll uh, host the link in the show notes too uh, so you guys can find those. Maybe you can share those with me, Brandon. So the, the purchase can actually, it's $30 cheaper to buy it through us. Oh, okay, okay, um, okay. So once once we go through the demo, we have links in the product or we can just sell them from the original conversation. Um, but I promise that you cannot find them cheaper online in a new condition. Gotcha. Um, so we like to uh, make sure that we can offer those to our customers. Gotcha. Yeah. So Eric, unless there's anything else in particular that you want to see, um, we can kind of wrap this thing up and remind all the listeners what we have on the table if they're able to go ahead and move forward with this. Yeah, no, I'm good, man. I think this was a uh, time well spent. Awesome. Hopefully I hope so. <laughs> so, all right. One last, uh, one last plug for everything. Um, if the, as a listener, as a business owner, as a restaurant tour bar owner, if you want to go ahead and head over to untapped.com slash business slash unstoppable, and fill out the form that you see here. You'll know you landed in the right place. We're going to set you up with a business analyst who is an expert in not only your region, but your business type. Uh, and in, in doing that, we can tell you a little bit more about a return on investment information, uh, specific data for customers like you. Um, and so once you can learn all that, you can make a decision as to whether Untapped is a good fit for you. If you make the decision to move forward on that $599 subscription, we are offering an in-app promotion, $300 in value to the current untapped customers that basically reaches out to the, uh, the untapped users in your area and says, hey, we're the newest verified venue or we have an event coming up or uh, you should come check us out for our arcade or you know a specialty cocktail or food item that we do. And in doing that, we're building up, up excuse me, building up a subscriber base so they are constantly online and ready to hear about new information from your business. And last thing, you're doing restaurant unstoppable, a solid when you do that. Uh, the fruits of that will return to Eric and help him uh, continue growing the podcast as well. Thank you. Um, so thank you very much for listening. Hopefully this was additive. No, thank you, Eric. I really appreciate the time. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. And just to make it easy for you guys, uh, above and below this video in the show notes, I'll even throw the link in there. So all you have to do is click. Uh, so you don't have to remember the, the full uh, URL. I'll just copy and paste it right there above and below the video to make it easy for you. Awesome. Thank you very much. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure speaking with you, Eric. Likewise. Thanks for everything. And I guess uh, peace out. Yeah, peace out, man. Good luck getting home from Thailand. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that demo, and Brandon wanted me to make sure that you know this is just an abbreviated demo. They go into much more detail, answer your specific questions, and really help you fully grasp and understand the value of Untapped. So if you're interested in learning more, click the demo links above or below this video in if you are watching this and you're thinking to yourself, oh, you know, maybe my buddy over at the bar uh, down the street or whatever uh, might be interested in this, make sure you share this video with them or share the episode with them because they can take advantage of the savings that they'll get and the benefits they'll get using my links, the promotions that are tied to this video into this episode. So uh, please support the show, use my links, share it in uh, just a huge, gigantic Thank you in advance for supporting what I'm doing here at Restaurant Unstoppable. All right, guys, peace out.